Once upon a time, there was a girl named Kadisha who walked her own path. Sometimes it was rocky, or she felt like she was falling behind. Often it was crowded, and she didn't know how to make space for herself. But as long as Kadisha had a football at her feet, she was calm, confident, and full of possibilities. I'm Joy Ofodu, and this is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, a fairy tale podcast about the real life rebel women who inspire us. On this episode, Kadisha Buchanan, world renowned footballer, pancake enthusiast, and leader. Kadisha grew up in Brampton, Canada, surrounded by rivers, lakes, beaches, and trails. There was always something to do or someone to play with, since Kadisha has 11 siblings and was the youngest for a long time. But Kadisha didn't always know where she fit in. Lots of her siblings were into sports. Her parents were athletic too. Kadisha felt like she was the smallest and the slowest, chasing after her sisters and falling down a lot. Kadisha had no plan to become a professional athlete. Sure, she woke up early every weekend to watch professional football on TV with her father. She loved following the players' intricate movements and patterns, cheering from her living room. But she had no idea there even was a professional women's football team, or that she had the same strength and determination inside her too. Kadisha kept chasing after her sisters, kept practicing strikes with her parents on the pitch. By the time she was 12, she actually felt pretty strong out there. She had come to really love the sport and knew which local team she wanted to play for. But sadly, she got turned away. Kadisha was crushed. She felt like she was just as good as anyone else at tryouts. But... She also knew that with so many expenses at home, her family couldn't afford this team's fees. So they probably rejected her because of that. It's okay, her mom told her. You have to keep trying. You have to make your own path. So Kadisha channeled her energy into learning new plays and techniques on her own. And soon enough, she found another team and coach who appreciated her talent and discipline. This time, Kadisha was able to get community support to join in too, so she could afford things like uniforms and travel expenses. Kadisha's game got stronger and stronger. A few years later, she was selected for Canada's national team. And soon after that, she went pro. She graduated college with a degree in criminology and a fierce defensive tackle. Her teammates really trusted and admired her too for her strength, her positive attitude, and her calm resilience on the pitch. To this day, Kadisha continues to forge her own path with that same calm and courage. She loves the process of playing professionally, watching videos of her past performances, and evaluating how she can do better next time. On training days, she has tea with her coach and sets out her intentions for honing techniques. And when there's a big match, Khadija makes sure to get a lot of sleep, eat her favorite pancakes with fresh fruit, and listen to reggae music to psych herself up. Football is my life, she says. It changed my life for the better. Whether it's studying for a test or warming up for a worldwide football tournament, Kadisha believes we all have to give 100%. After all, she never dreamed she'd play professionally, and now she's one of the best defenders in the world. She just kept on getting out on the pitch, kept picking herself back up and trusting in those words from her mom. Find your own path. It's there waiting for you.
This podcast is a production of Rebel Girls. It's based on the book series, Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. This episode was narrated by me, Joy Ofodu. It was produced and directed by Joy Smith, with sound design and mixing by Mumble Media. It was written and edited by Abby Sher. Fact-checking by Joe Radigan. Our executive producers are Joy Smith and Jess Wolf. Original theme music was composed and performed by Electra Barjaki. A special thanks to the whole Rebel Girls team who make this podcast possible. Until next time, stay Rebel! <laughs>